Hi there and welcome to another video. This whole video is about the Ford Motor Company is an American multinational automobile manufacturer headquartered in Dearborn, Michigan, United States. It was founded by Henry Ford and incorporated on June 16, 1903. The company sells automobiles and commercial vehicles under the Ford brand, and luxury cars under its Lincoln brand. Ford also owns a 32% stake in China's Jongling Motors. It also has joint ventures in China, Taiwan, Thailand, and Turkey. Ford introduced methods for large-scale manufacturing of cars and large-scale management of an industrial workforce using elaborately engineered manufacturing sequences typified by moving assembly lines. By 1914, these methods were known around the world as Fordism. Ford's former UK subsidiaries Jaguar, and Land Rover, acquired in 1989 and 2000, respectively, were sold to the Indian automaker Tata Motors in March 2008. Ford owned the Swedish automaker Volvo from 1999 to 2010. Ford is the second-largest U.S.-based automaker and the sixth-largest in the world based on 2022 vehicle production. At the end of 2010, Ford was the fifth-largest automaker in Europe. The Henry Ford Company was Henry Ford's first attempt at a car manufacturing company, and was established on November 3, 1901. This became the Cadillac Motor Company on August 22, 1902, after Ford left with the rights to his name. The Ford Motor Company was launched in a converted factory in 1903 with $28,000 in cash from 12 investors, most notably John and Horace Dodge. The first president was not Ford, but local banker John S. Gray who was chosen in order to assuage investors' fears that Ford would leave the new company the way he had left its predecessor. The first gasoline-powered automobile had been created in 1885 by the German inventor Karl Benz. Ford contributed affordable automobiles for the middle class. During World War II, the United States Department of War picked Ford to mass-produce the consolidated B-24 Liberator bomber at its Willow Run assembly plant. Between 1903 and 1908, Ford produced the models A, B, C, F, K, N, R, and S hundreds or a few thousand of most of these were sold per year. Ford's subsidiary in Germany produced military vehicles and other equipment for Nazi Germany's war effort. On June 2, 2008, Ford sold its Jaguar and Land Rover operations to Tata Motors for $2.3 billion. Ford announced that their electric vehicle business had lost $3 billion before taxes over the past two years and will lose a similar amount in 2023 as the company looks to significantly invest in electric technology. The Ford Model E is expected to be profitable by 2026. In April 2023, United Kingdom ministers approved Ford's Blue Cruise technology. Because of this assisted driving technology, Ford drivers can now legally take their hands off the wheel on certain roads. This technology will initially be offered in Ford's 2023 model of the electric Mustang Mach-E SUV. According to Thatcham Research, an automotive research company, this model is not a self-driving car. It is classified as a level 2 or partial automation assistance system. Ford Motor Company sells a broad range of automobiles under the Ford mark worldwide including buses, trucks, and also tractors. Indy cars with Ford engines first competed in 1935 using a production-based Ford V8 in the Miller Ford Racer. Ford is one of three manufacturers in NASCAR's three major series, the Cup Series, Xfinity Series, and Truck Series. Ford has a long history in rallying and has been active in the World Rally Championship since the beginning of the world Ford has competed in rallycross with its Ford Fiesta and Ford Focus. Tanner Faust won the Global Rallycross Championship in 2011 and 2012 and was runner-up in the FIA European Rallycross Championship in 2011 and 2012. Tumas Haikainen won the Global Rallycross Championship title in 2013, and Joni Women won in 2014. Ford has branched out into drifting with the introduction of the new model Mustang. Most noticeable is the turquoise and blue Falcon tires Mustang driven by Vaughn Gittin that produces 750 rear-wheel horsepower. Ford also continues to study fuel cell-powered electric powertrains and has demonstrated hydrogen-fueled internal combustion engine technologies, as well as developing the next-generation hybrid electric systems. 